This tutorial requires a stencil cutting machine. The drawing tools that come with the Silhouette software and options for adding color can turn anyone into a decent artist. If you aren't comfortable with your artistic skills, there are two ways to find an image for your Silhouette project. The first is to go to the Silhouette America website. They have a huge library of images that you can download into your program. The second way is to search Google Images. For this project, I searched Flower Silhouettes. You can drag any JPEG image into the Silhouette program and then change its size and many other aspects of the design, as you will see. Use the eraser tool to eliminate any portion of the image you don't want to include. Drag the corner of the image to change its size. In the Trace window, click Select Trace Area. Drag across your image to select it. Click the Trace button and the image will automatically be duplicated as a red outline. Move your original image out of the way to see the traced image. Click on the image and copy and paste it three more times. Then move the images out of the workspace area temporarily. In the View menu, select Show Grid. The grid will help you to plan your project. Next, choose the Rectangle tool. With the grid as your guide, create a 4 by 5 inch rectangle. Switch to the Pointer tool. Move three flowers back to the work area. For variety, change the image sizes. Use the green dot to move and tilt the images until you have them in a position you like. Click on the rectangle line near the flower. Click again, then double click. A small white box will appear. Go to the menu and select Break Path. The white square will become a red dot which you can grab and move to break the line. Move both ends of the line to the edges of the stem. Click the eraser just below the rectangle line to separate the flower from the long stem, which you can discard. The bottom of the flower line will automatically close with a red line across it. Double-click the line and break that point. Delete the red dot so the end of the flower line is even with the rectangle line. Repeat this process for all three flowers. Select all pieces of the rectangle line and the flowers and click on the Weld tool. This will join all the pieces together to create one continuous cut line. Use the one extra flower to copy and paste several duplicates. Make them different sizes and angle them in different directions using the green dot. Use the eraser tool to separate the flowers from the stems. Use the color fill tool to fill the stems with green. Outline the stems with a line colored tool and a contrasting color. Move the stems to the base of the flowers. Use the gradient fill tool to add color to the flowers. Use the line tool to outline them. In the object menu, under arrange, you can move flowers and stems in front of each other. Arrange the flowers and stems at the bottom of the rectangle. Select all the colored flowers. Go to the cut window and select no cut. Type your message using the font tool. The font menu will allow you to change every aspect of the font. Use the color fill and the line tools to color the letters just as you did with the flowers. Use one of the flower colors for your message. When your message is complete and in position, select it and go to the Cut window and click No Cut. Save the project. Select the red cut line, which includes the rectangle with the three flowers at the top, and delete it. Load cardstock into your printer and print the image. Close the file without saving it. From the Silhouette File menu, choose Open Recent to reopen the project. Place the printed image on a silhouette carrier sheet and load it into the stencil cutting machine. 
On the cut page, choose plain cardstock as your material. Click the Send to Silhouette button and the machine will do the rest. Peel the card off the carrier and find a pretty way to display it. Be sure to visit DomesticDivaOnline.com to see more creative projects for you and your home.